today you can buy a single hard drive that stores 30 terabytes of data. That was unthinkable only a couple of decades ago. Remember, it was only the 90s when the height of storage technology was a floppy disk that held a maximum of 1.44 megabytes. But storage does have its limits. Even if we can keep inventing new ways to ram more data into the same amount of physical space, there exists a fundamental, universal cap on our ingenuity towards this endeavour. And to understand why that is, I need to introduce you to a small Mexican man who was also Jewish, who was also American, called Jacob Beckenstein. After growing up in Mexico City to Polish immigrants, Beckenstein moved to New York, where he studied physics, black holes, entropy, and eventually postulated a concept called the Beckenstein Bound. This is the upper limit of thermodynamic energy, or in our case, data, that can possibly be contained within any given finite region of space. Basically, according to physics, the Bekenstein bound is the universe's hard limit on how much data can be stored within a given area. That limit, which works out to be roughly 10 to the power of 66 bits per centimeter cubed, is astronomically higher than the data density of our current best storage mediums. We're not even a tiny fraction of a way towards that limit yet. So we have a lot of headroom, and I mean a lot. But Bekenstein's bound isn't actually our nemesis here. It offers so much more density than we could ever hope to achieve. So much so that no scientist or engineer is even remotely concerned about it. 